This one wasn't Twitch, but Twitch should give real names. But this one wasn't Twitch. I don't know. It was either Instagram or Facebook. Own both of them, same owner. So the shit they were saying to her, you absolutely your name. Here's the deal. What I pers here's what I think you should do. And this is no lie. If you're gonna be that rude and that crass to people, your shit should get outed. Boom gets put on a fing board. It could be don't be this person board or something. And it should stay there for at least a week. I bet you that keeps people from talking shit real fast. Of course, I prefer pride. Pride over the over the UFC intro. Yeah, look, my man goes over there and pays respect. That's just the Buddhist way, right? But um, he goes and pays respect. Look, they got a mini temple just sitting. There. You go over there, bow, pay respect, spot it, off to go. But um, yeah, no, I think don't you like that? I mean, there's something to be said about the WWE, WWF. You know, the one thing is, you know, I was guilty of it coming out to too many walkout songs. But you know how the WWE was when you heard that song, you knew who was coming out, right? And just and every time they just do entrance and stuff, I didn't really get that till later on. Some fighters have that exact song their entire career. I was changing it up as I was going. I was like, ooh, I should have just stayed with my original song by Twisted. And that would have been, you know what I mean? But, but, you know what I mean? So change it up. I say, you know what I mean, a lot. The thing with Pride, I love the announcer, how she sits in the way that she calls their names and yells them out and it gets the crowd more involved and the people that want to do the dancing. Like I said, you go look at, you know, it, there, for the opening ceremonies was probably the craziest thing ever, right? The opening ceremonies. I wish that UFC had something like that where all the fighters came out and they had some big standing. I mean, that'd be tight, but... There's definitely a difference between the two, and you can tell, and it's a lot of fun, man. What's that? So that no-nonsense walking to the song, emphasis on fighter fits them. You know, but that's the deal. You can get serious, but at the same token, I always try to, like, reach out. I really, here's what's crazy. I don't know, maybe I was dumb or what, but I tried to literally enjoy the walkout. Because how many people get to do that? And I try to embrace everybody getting excited. And I try to let that, I mean, I'm already fired up to fight. I'm already nervous to fight. But when you start hearing them and getting into it, like, it's like embrace that moment. That's your, you know what I mean? That's like the, that's like the last seconds before you go in and God knows what's going to happen. You never know. It's the last minute you're, you're quote unquote free of the results of what's going to happen in 15 minutes or 25 minutes. It's it's still anybody's game. You know what I mean? It's still anybody's guess. Right up to they say, ding, ding. Now all of a sudden, you know. Huh? Favorite song to walk out to? The problem was they wouldn't let me. Yeah, man. They wouldn't let me keep my song. The one, the one that was made for me. My little evil song. But I probably should have stuck around and kept my, like I said, the song by Twisted, Mutant X. I should have stayed with that one. You know, but. Such is life. So then I kind of jumped around, country music, rap song, whatever. I was like, man, then they would just pick it. I'm like, man, just pick whatever. I don't care. And that's when I that's when I fucked up. You know what I mean? You should care. You should care about how you look, how you feel, how you what you're wearing, everything, man. It should all it should be important. But I was way too like, fuck it, I don't care. Yeah. Evil music. L I L and it goes right to evil. First thing. This guy calls himself Little Evil, though, this rapper. I forgot about that. This motherfucker. Bad meets evil, evil, whatever. Little Evil, Little Evil. There's a trailer, Little Evil. Little Evil boss status. I can't, because here's the problem. I'm only Little Evil. 
I'm only little evil on uh, in MMA fighting related. You know what I mean? So I think you can't. I don't think you can keep it for everything. Like look at this one. This one's little Johnny evil. Spells his middle name exactly the way I do. Motherfucker. And then his name isn't even really that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And then there's an actual L-I-L-E-V-I-L. What the fuck, man? What is this shit? Fuck that. I'll let y'all see what I'm looking at. Hold up. God damn, man. Like, literally the way I fucking spell it. Come on, man. There was no little evil until this shit. There was only one. There's only one little evil. That's, I guess, flattery, flattery, flattery. You got to spell it like I do and shit. Come on, man. Whatever. Anyway. Now, that's cool, though, because, like I said, it was never here until you... Think about it. You create a nickname that people copy. Look at Turtles already got me beat. God damn it, Turtle. You know damn good well I can't keep up with you, little gangster. Yep, I don't even have to look at it. I know this is it. Yo, Jens! Tell these motherfuckers who you are, son! There it is. Motherfucking music. I know, right? Oops, oops. So that was it. See? That thing was badass, man. That was badass. But then the UFC was like, no, we don't have the rights to it. I'm like, it's mine. Exactly, because it's yours, and we don't have the rights to it, so you can't listen to it no more. Like, ah, right, whatever. Whatever. There it is. Man, look at all these fuckers calling themselves Little Evil. Man, but we only we know there's only one, but that's cool though. Look at Little Evil featuring You know what? Eight years ago. Eight years ago you doing this. Guess you ain't that little evil no more. Guess you ain't that evil. Anyway. Yeah, so here it is, pocket sand, in case anybody's wondering. Why I say that is I would scoop it up. 
have it in my hand, and then here we go, throw, whoosh, throw it straight at somebody like a cloud, like this, Wah! and then they, when they start to block it, then you hit them with the hook, and another left hand, right, plumb the head, when you take them down, so then if you're in trouble, like say they got you in a triangle choke, you reach over, you scoop some up, and you start to drop it right in their face, as they're trying to squeeze the triangle choke, you put pocket, you put fairy sprinkle all over their face, and then hopefully that'll get them to stop, right? And the last thing is, if they shoot on you, you sprawl and you push their face into the sand. But otherwise, man, just fairy dust. Just sprinkle, sprinkle. So this is pocket sand. I would like to see, it'd be kind of cool, maybe, to see street beefs in this. I don't know. I mean, it might drive them nuts. But I will tell you this. If we've had this conversation before, shackle for the shit, no? The, um, the one thing, though, here. It's it, if you ever try to run around like just do calisthenics on the sand, it's no joke, man. I'm not playing. It's, it's fucking. It's man. Just try to do jumping jacks in this shit. Oh, man, he's so lucky he didn't step in with that kick because that was waiting for him. Look at my man, kick, but he was already falling backwards. Otherwise, my man got range. Whoop. Oh. Because they got a, they probably got a couple of troughs full of sand. They drop a tarp, drop sand, make a ring, and fight. I mean, fight it out. Like right here, my man, he's got, he's rubbing his digits on the back of his head. He's staring in the fucking sand with the front of his face. He's in a bad spot right here. It's a little awkward. You're going to have to do something here. Look at this guy's look. He's like, might have to stop this. Oh my God, they did stop it. Okay, north, south for sure, palm granite, napalm, but what would you call this version? This ain't really, this is like a, a, a extremely inverted, fucked up version of north, south. Yo, Cobain, how you doing, Bay? You see what I'm saying? I haven't done it. No, I don't know. I could ask, I could ask, uh, Tornux. Boxing shorts. These are boxing shorts. But what I'm saying is, what would you call, I don't really know how you'd call this one. It's kind of like an inverted north-south. I'm not sure what this would be. Those are swim trunks, yeah? Yeah, but it made sense, though. It was north-south pomegranate. But it's just, yeah, right? I guess we'd call it east-west, but they're normally not this direct. He said east-west. Oh, my God, that'd be awesome. Yo, get him in that east-west. East west. East-west. Or whew, reverse doggy north-south. <laughs> Fuck six. All right, this is going somewhere. We're heading down a, we're heading down a pathway. I want to, we got to try to avoid. We got to avoid this path. All right, all right. Oh, my man just did a straight Superman. Nice. Boop. It was close. It was close. All right, get in there. Step in. Oh, my God. This kid's kind of clowning him. He stepped back. Look. Planted and fired a jab real quick. And then he's out. Oh, got him. Oh, shit. He sat him down. Pop of wood. I'm good, man. I'm good. Hey, how y'all doing? How's everybody doing? Ooh. Oh, look at that shit. Got in deep. Oh, now he's got the legs up. Yeah, yeah. Tapped. Oh, good job. Somebody really liked that outcome. Like you want a mother bed or something. Wow. Damn. Black Shorts just throws a boot right out. He don't even waste no time. He just said, let's go.
Oh, he comes right in with that elbow. No way, man. Straight gangster. Look at that. See? Could you imagine you don't keep your hands up in this game? Look, even this dude way back here, somehow his neck is way up above everybody else. He's smiling. Oh, nice knee. Again, those elbows over the top. Man, I want to just, I want to get in a fight just so I can rip somebody with one of those elbows. It'd be so cool. Just grab hold of them just, and just bam. And then, you know I mean? They get hit and they look at y'all funny and wonder what that went. Like, why do I feel that cold air? And be like, yeah, that's your, that's your brain running down the front of your face right now. Oh, you know what I mean? That's what happens when you get cut, right? You get cut and you're like, why do I feel that cold? Oh, and then the blood is like, oh, shit, I got cut. All right. I had one time. It was a funny one. I, do, I had a chainsaw, and I tripped, and the chainsaw hit my thigh. And I was like, and then I was standing there, and I thought I felt, I was like, man, I feel okay. I go, I feel fine. And then I was like, why? It's something felt cold, and I'm going, I was like, why is it? And all of a sudden, I feel like, like, I, like there was, I thought a bug was running up my shin. So I reached down, and I, and I, and I touched my leg, and I'm covered in blood. I was like, like, what the, I was like, what? And it turned out I had the chainsaw ripped across the front of my thigh and cut a big old cut. And each tooth on the saw had some denim from the Levi's in it and some of my leg. <laughs> hey, but I was like, it hit it so fast. I was like, I was just standing there still cutting. I'm like, God, I thought I, I thought a bug was running up my leg. And I was going, what the, so I hit, I hit my shin. And it was all blood. I was going, of course, then you see the blood, and then you freak the fuck out. But anyways, I'm saying when you throw that elbow, just come here, just bam. And then all of a sudden you're sitting there, and then you just kind of, and all of a sudden you're like, wait, why do I feel the? I feel air. I mean, yeah, I almost cut my. Well, I guess. I mean, if we're talking about sizes, I guess I, you know, mid thigh is about. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that compliment, my friend. Hell yeah. Let's go. So y'all do realize, just in case you was wondering, Mike Shields in that Hayabusa, the black shorts, is Curry, Tree O Tree, 53,000 million in chat. Interesting, Shields said that he thought he had the stand-up advantage and then he gets a Taekwondo black belt. Yep. Look at him switching around, though. Front kick. Careful on the chase. There's the spin. Leg kick. Hit. Now right that a boy. Hit that one. Put that straight right. Right that man. Blast that straight right. He's coming in with that side kick. Boop. There it is. Yeah. I didn't even have to fucking. I don't even have to see it. Isn't it crazy? I don't even have to watch. Because I'm just like. Thank you. Hell yes. Hell yes. See some redness already on the midsection of Shields maybe from that. There it is, and again, that red that's what I was saying. That's exactly I'll be screaming that right hand. He's asking for that right hand. Make sure you bring it straight out, straight back, but bow and then bring it back. Because the reason why I want you to, the reason why I say make sure you bring it back, right? Now remember, so think about this real quick. Not just not just you, Mike, but everybody. See if I come here and I bring my hand down, right? And that, now I'm kind of resetting, see, and I come here. But if I come here and I really pull it back like I'm trying to pull start a lawnmower, look at what that's creating. Oh, see, the hook, it's already, but it's just natural. Then you just get into this rocking position. Or, But definitely, when you throw that right, bring it back as hard as you can. Bang! And then bring it back. See how it's already starting to twist me? Even if I don't throw the hook, it's twisting me for it. I just keep forgetting about the, yeah, the mud. Yeah. Well, no, it's not. Well, it is a phone number, but it's not. It's, um, like I said, you're going to be a real dick if you prank it. And you'll probably go to prison. So I wouldn't I wouldn't call this number. <laughs> I wouldn't call it. It's ICU, so don't do it. Do I have a gym or a team that I coach? Yeah, I'm sitting in my gym, and you all are my team. And, like I said, Curry... Mike Shields is Curry in chat. 
So that's why I'm rapping with them. But yeah, no, so I, because I had to call, because the hospital's on lockdown, and I'll tell everybody, so you know, I mean, if you want to freak out and, I mean, do what you got to do, but I had, because the hospital's on lockdown, you can't go in the hospital, you have to call. You have to call the, you got to call the, so I had to call the ICU so that I can drop it off at the door and they can pick the shit up. So I wouldn't prank that. It's probably definitely, I mean, like I said, more power to you if you want to, but you're a real fucking dick if you do, and you probably will go to prison. Um, or you will go to jail. I'll guarantee goddamn to it. Um, anyway, so, but you see what I mean by when you're throwing that and bringing that body back, so the idea of bringing that straight out, straight back, because it just creates the rhythm, right? It just creates the rhythm. You see what I'm saying? Bang! So. And like how you're circling. I like how you're circling outside of that leg. Keep circling to your left. There you go. See, I, there you go. That a boy, same thing. Now, make sure you keep that right hand up, because right here, what, what I would say is, when you throw this kick, boom, Make sure this is ready because now's a good time while he's hopping. Keep that rhythm, and now here comes that straight right again. See, start thinking about that because I'm telling you, you straight right, man. I would definitely throw that more, especially with this guy. Atta boy. Nice head kick. Oh, you're going to choke his ass out right here. There you go, knee on his stomach, pop up and punch him until he turns into you. There you go. Nice, nice. Oh. Some of John up kicks. My man's putting it away. Put him away. You got him, you got him, Atta boy. Go ahead, ref, anytime. Anytime. No, you can do what you want, partner. Don't bitch. Don't bitch. Don't you dare bitch. It's called intelligent defense. And rolling up into the fetal position is about as intelligent as me stepping outside with no clothes on and fuck it in the freezing cold weather. So don't do it. Don't do it. You no know intelligent defense, partner. You can't turtle up. Good job, ref. Good job. See, that's one of those things. That's Hey, by the way, Shields, nice job, man. You got him down that position and just started throwing it down. That's how you go, man. Blanket him. Perfect. Perfect. But watch. Just look at this. Give this guy. Get out of look at him. That a boy. Now he's just getting wrecked. Look at it. He's sitting in a turtle position. Look at him. Turtle. Another two shots. Then he turns over. Now look, he literally turns sideways, puts his hands on his head. And he's like, what'd you stop it for? It's called because you weren't trying to improve your position in any way, shape, or form. And that's about the stupidest defense I've ever seen if you wanted to keep the fight going. I've been training my ass off for the last year. Trust me, I've watched all the videos. Look at my They're not flaws, though. That's the thing. They're not flaws. That's, dude, especially your kill when you get them on the ground is great. But like I said, man, you got a great right hand. Biggest thing is make sure you're whipping that hand when you're throwing that hand back. Yo, JCV, how you do? And throwing that hook back, right? That's just a big one. But that's just rotation. But now, nah, man, great fights. Great fights. How important would you say timing and distance is in a fight on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest? In the striking aspect, timing and distance is everything. Everything. The only reason why you don't really worry about it in, in MMA so much is once you get into a clinch and on the ground, but even then there's still timing and they're still creating distance, you know what I mean, or taking the distance away. But definitely in striking, that's important as shit, man, fucking. Timing, distance, feints, or setups. Setups. Setups and movement. I know distance doesn't mean far away. That's why I said, because you could be in close and you still have to have it. You still have to have enough distance to throw them hooks 
or you can be into a full clinch. But you got to be, when you get inside and you get them body shots, there's still the distance because too many people jam themselves up and they can't throw proper hooks so they don't know how to turn their body. They don't know how to put their face, their head right against the wall and start throwing hooks, start throwing hooks and stuff like that. Learn how to turn your whole body in such a short little compact area. That's why distance is extremely important for people like that getting inside that inside game and they don't know how to, they don't know how to adjust and cre- and give themselves the smaller the space, the harder the hook. If you turn your whole body, it just depends. So yeah, it's extremely important. Plus, it sucks when you get inside, and some people get really uncomfortable because they feel like they're being jammed up, so they can't throw punches because they're like, ah, and it's definitely, it's a rookie, for the most part, rookie fighters will have that issue, where they're like, they're right up on them, they don't know how to, because they don't know how to turn their whole body yet, and nice little short punches, and they're not willing to realize that just throwing a nice couple little pop, pop, little pop shots to get them up, and then you can throw big, but to throw little shots just to, like I said, little bink, bink, boom, Bang, and then hit them. But you just got to create that space with the punches. You know what my problem is? And this is a fact. Like, every time I think I'm going to have to go out there, like, I constantly, every time, because I had to tie my cup on, right? I tied, I had a tie cup, a steel Muay Thai cup. You had to tie it around your waist, and it would tie it up to crack your ass, but I had underwear. And I'd tie it down, and then I'd have to go pee. So I'd have to untie the son of a bitch, go in there and go to the bathroom, and I come back out because of the nerves. I'm like, and then I tie it back up. I'm like, oh my god, I gotta pee again. I gotta pee again. And finally, at some point, like, look, man, quit being a baby. All right. He always had this like, I gotta pee. I gotta pee again. So I nah, dude, it's time. So I oh, so worried. I'm gonna have to piss myself, right? But it's just nerves. Oh my God, that's right. You gotta, you gotta break, you gotta break away from the chi ball, and your tongue has to be cocked to the left. You have to turn your tongue sideways, and then the death touch doesn't get you. And now I can't be, now I can't be death touched. So I can't be death touched. It's a nerve piss, yeah, Ben. So that's what I'm saying. And at some point, you just gotta realize, like, all right, it's a nerve piss. I fuck it. I'm gonna if I pee myself, I pee myself. I don't give a shit. This guy was like, see this dude over there? Like he wanted to wear these weird ass gloves. I'm like, man, he can't wear these weird ass gloves. And I remember this. He looked at Monty dead in his face. This guy did and said, "Your fighter's gonna pay with his blood." It's like what? I'm gonna pay with my blood? All right, huh? That would be an interesting way to phrase it. Oh, I think this is going to be a barn burner here. See, I'm still just a wrestler. At this point, I'm still just a wrestler. Just took everybody down. So I'm going to try because I like this stand-up shit. So I'm going to give it another whirl. Phil Johns, I think the shortest competitor in this event tonight at 5 foot 2 inches tall. Seems they have a pretty decent good uh, roundhouse kick to the leg. Dynamite comes in small packages. There you go, Tim. There you go, Tim. Uh, speaking of dynamite, I think he just got dynamited. I think you're absolutely correct, and I hope Phil Johns is okay because that was a devastating punch. <laughs> I was like, it's just. There you go, Tim. How short that thing was. There you go, Tim. Look at it, turn, look at, watch this, turn that whole thigh. Look at turn the whole body. Look, turn the foot, the knee, the hip, the entire body in that short, quick, Bam, as I'm falling backwards and turn that hook. Uh, speaking of dynamite, I think he just got dynamited. I think you're absolutely correct, and I hope Phil Johns is okay because that was a devastating punch. Devastating punch. <laughs> devastating. He, he looks okay. Uh, he seemed like he walked right into it. I was all pissed off. I pissed off, dude. Okay. Now that was a shot. Like I'm still pissed off. Look at Big John. Hey, there's, there's Peretti. Look, I'm still pissed off. I'm like pissed. 
I just wanted to keep fighting. I wanted to bite people. You got the link for the video? Alright, I got you. Here it comes. Watch, here it comes. Look, I'm just waiting. And it's here it comes. Boom! As I was going back. Shot. And it's it's a big left hand. I tell you, I believe Phil John curled him. Did you hear what this motherfucker just said? Did you hear what he just said? Hold up. Did you hear what he just said? I tell you, I believe Phil Johns was out there for a moment. I believe Phil Johns is out there for a moment. Um. My man fell dead on top of his own thighs. Yeah, I think he's out. I, 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 I believe he's out like a mother. Look at him. He's, he's, he's snapping his neck. He's here for a moment. My man is out. I tell you, I believe Phil Johns was out there for a moment. He, he just seemed to collapse much uh, <laughs> uh, much like uh, the opponent of Brad Kohler in the last UFC. He just sort of collapsed right to the mat. Look, right I'm still right mad. Look, I'm right still right pissed. Right. I'm still mad. I can't, I'm just, look at this little intense fucker right here. That's my problem. This little intense bastard right here. I could not be that guy anymore. I'm, look, I'm still mad. Like, I'm still pissed off. And I'm flexing. Fastest fight of the night. Get some. She's mad. Angry Jens, man. I'm probably mad that I had to move out to Iowa or something. I'm not sure. Just an angry little dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no way. So he's the champ right here, Tam. And you're you're fighting for the, you're fighting for his um. So you're fighting for his belt. Ooh, ooh, you got some you got some diehards. Diehards. I have no idea why, but we just—I can't hear shit about it. But woo, woo, huh? He was the UK number one at 55. He was coming up, up to my category at 57 to take over. Oh shit! All right, all right, all right. Just a, a fight, though, dude. Yeah, that was my sister. Oh, that's awesome, my girlfriend. Oh, it's all no. It's cool as shit. It's cool as hell. What happened with Baby Lord? Baby Lord was in the, uh... Oh, you tried to go all caps, did you, Baby Lord? <laughs> Y'all good. Tam is in the, on the left. In the blue gloves. Right? He's right here in the blue gloves. I know. Tam's right here. Tam! What's with all the pies? Now we got a skirt pie. Skirt pie with the follow. Pizza pie with the follow. We got some pie going on up in this thing. Quick little rear leg. Good jab. Good jab. See, I like this jab. Okay, this was last November. Badass. All right, cool. Front kick. I like the front kick. Oh, 
But you see the effectiveness when we were just watching um, Avatar, and just the way that jab, cross, hook, and then boom, that rear leg, adding in that, that, that Dutch style a little bit. Pop, 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 punch, 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 bam. Finish with the kick. Punch, punch, punch. I see you jabbing, which is pretty cool. I like your right hand, though. I like to see you use that right hand. Bam. Atta boy, hey, I liked it right there. The right hand left to the liver kick. I love it. There you go. Circle, jab. Yeah, there you go. Good sound. Good sound on that kick. Good sound on that kick. Knee, plumb. Did he just try to did he just try a down elbow? Did he try to drop did he drop an elbow right there? Ooh. Ooh. ooh, ooh. Oh, he just did it again right there. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I know. They're both looking really good. There you go. There's the right hand, left leg. There's the right hand, left leg. I was just going to say, he definitely loves to clinch. You're not um, walking people down, grabbing the life out of them and stuff. See, I got to figure out, you don't, you don't play around with the, with the, with the uh, clinch too much, yeah? Well, I like to spend about, I like to spend just a half, just a half a day with you. Just a half a day. Cow lick the shit out of these people. Just be cranking on that thing. Just cow lick that mother. No, but I like it, man. But you can tell he definitely likes his clenching there. Reach across his face, cup his chin, and lean his hand or try to start cracking on his arm if he's got it up there too much, like a tie style. Um, first round, I wanted to bait him and see what he would, what he had as he was known for that. Now, I, I, I'm with you. I'm just saying with the clinch, I like to see you get deadly in that clinch for damn sure. That's the only thing I do love is the god dang, you know what I mean? Yo, Apex with the Ray T.Y. I love the clinch, man. I love, that's the only thing I do love, the clinch. Reach across their face, cup that mother, cup it. Just sit there and start ripping on their chin. Get your hand off the face. You go, fuck you, and you just keep pushing it. They hate it, man. <laughs> Attaboy, see right there. I like that. I like that right hand. Good, Apex is good. We're watching Tam here. Right hand. There you go. Uppercut. I like it. Look at that jab. Yes. All right. Good feeling out process for Tam. The other guy, whatever. Whatever their name is. So, so. Is that like a is that like this is that like a short a short kilt right there? Do we got a short kilt? For a minute I thought that was the heel. That's why I was going back. Like, holy fuck, I thought it was the biggest heel I'd ever seen. I was like, holy shit. Alright. See how do you see that? No, do you see watch? I'll show you where I'm going back. But watch how see how she steps? I was like, God damn, that's the biggest whack heel. I was like, she broke it or something. That's <laughs> oh my God. That's why I was like, damn, man.
There you go. There he is. All oh, right, right hand, left hook, right hand, left hook. The jab. I like that. Yeah, my boy. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, finally. I love it. Jab, cross hook to the liver, rear leg. There it is. Look, he's all, look at, see how, look at, he's dropping his elbows. He's already freaking out about that body shot. When you see somebody drop their hands down like this, look, when you throw this punch, right? Now you see, now you see him dropping. Now it's the faint, come back upstairs, or faint, now come with the high kick. But once you start getting them to adjust their hands in that big of increment, you know what I mean? With that big of difference, now it's time to start. Now it's time to start baiting them, you know what I mean? Now it's time to start baiting them. That was beautiful. Pump, 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 body, rear leg on the other side. Ah, oh, that was awesome. Look at him, though. Look how he's biting. Uppercut. There you go. He said he had too much fight IQ and be too much for me to handle. Well, not when you change up the levels. That's not fight. That That's beyond fight IQ. That's fight fucking genius. That's when you start working on mastery. When you start changing levels and you start getting them to chase after your hands and then you add in feints and you get them to, when you get them to straight flinch, whoop, and give up everything, any kind of offense, that's called mastery, man. You're painting a masterpiece at that point. Yeah, man. When they give up, when they give up all offense and worry about what you're throwing. There you go. Like I tell anybody, I only had one fight. One fight that I would that I would call that I would consider pure it was pure mastery. And to this day, for some reason, Tony, Abel, everybody that was in Japan with me that day was like where in the fuck did that come from? And I was like, I don't know. Everything just felt right. Everything just felt perfect. And my boxing was on point. And I just felt like just destroying the guy. Just destroying the guy. I mean, but so that's what I'm saying. So it's cool to watch you change the level. You know? Oh, Ooh, Imatsu. There you go. Come on, Tom. Come on, Tom. Come on, Tom. No booing, my yeah. I'll see if Selector can find it. Maybe. There you go. Look at that. Just a straight shot down. Look, a straight shot to the midsection and a hook. Straight right to the belly hole. I love this. Left hook to the head. Boom. Look at that. Hands go down. Here comes the hook. Pow. Straight to the belly hole. Left hook upstairs. Rear leg afterwards. Boom. Boom. Left hook. Pop. Right leg across the thigh. You. There you go. Jab cross lead knee. I love it. Did you just did you just throw an elbow, my boy? Yes, you yeah. Right, elbow. All right, lead hook, beating him to the punch. Good balance, good balance. Go 
Right hand to the face, left hand to the liver. Come back with that right leg. Oh, ah, yeah, you still went to kick his ass. If we try to pull you over, you still try to kick him with your other leg. Why, what? Look, you tried to kick him in. <laughs> I love this. Look. He's like, oh, yeah, nah, man. He tried to he kicked him with the other. <laughs> That's gangster. Like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> oh, that's tight. Well, I am coming. Man, I'm becoming a fan, Tam. I'm digging this, man. There you go. Even though it was half-hearted, it's still there. Boom. See? It's still. Look at these hands. Look at these hands. Oh. Good second round. Good second round. Never apologize. You don't ever apologize for people getting excited, man. That's called love. That's what it, that's, man, they into it. That's the whole idea. They supposed to be yelling. That's, that's the thing. That's kick ass. It's funny. Listen, that's what I'm saying, though, is how, especially why, like, I like seeing it like this because this is like, it's not part of the production. So you're hearing it from people literally sitting there cheering for you, there for you, watching you. You know what I mean? Good kick, got the kick through. See it? Look at everybody just went nuts. We're not gonna be able to see this. Here it comes. Oh my god. And those hooks. Look at that. Do you see that? Do you see that? Left to the body. See? Left to the body. You started changing that up. Oh, you look at that. Right hand, left to the body. Thing is a thing of beauty. Thing of beauty. Oh yeah. Look, he's so scared. My man. Down he goes. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's why family can't be doing the filming. No more family filming. Look at this motherfucker ain't jumped up one time. I want this camera. I want this. <laughs> I want this camera. I'm just kidding. No, wait, that's not a camera. That's just some dude standing there. Hey, it's all she wrote. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That was awesome. One of those, this was one of those fights that this was it. It, it was psh, everything. I was just, I was in a groove. I can't even explain. I still think about it to this day. I was so chill. It was dumb. I didn't know what the fuck I was. I was just, I was like in this perfect zone. Everything was right. Everything was right. Oh, it's absolute nonsense. It's, that's what I'm saying. That's what's so cool about watching videos like that afterwards. You know what I mean? Just the patience. Boom, boom. She just slapping shots. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, 
So he's just snapping his jab for some reason, man. Everything just felt right. Everything just felt good. Being in control. Jens Parva. See, jab, look at that right hand. I mean, that left hand right here. Good left hand right over the top of his guard. Boom. Pop that jab, pop that jab. Oh, kick me in the nutsack. Fuck. I'm always getting kicked in the billets. Look at even the circling. See? You see it? Just that flow right there. Well, I'm like, he bit, he bit. I got it. Oh, then I do it again, see? Oh, he'll see. Double jab, go. Here it comes. Boom! See right there. Popped upstairs, got his hands up, got his hands up. Boom! Ooh. Here we go. So now I got it. Jab. Oh, just fucking thunder him with the shot. Look, now he faints. He thinks, look it. He thinks I'm going to hit him. He thinks I'm going to hit him in the liver. Think somebody hit him in the liver. Look at that. Look at that faint. Slid in. Watch. All right, look. Zip. Oh, look at that. Ooh, do you see that? Ah, I got him flinching. Look at his face. See how when you blast him. Look at his face. I go, oh, I got him. I just felt like fighting that day. Like just, I just felt dirty. Just felt everything just was on point. You see, that's what I was saying. That was my, that was like probably one of my, one of my most technical moments in my entire career. And he's a phenomenal ground, ground fighter and everything. And it just, just the patience and everything just felt perfect. See, that's young Jens over there though, doing his shit. Thank you. But you see what I meant about the upstairs, downstairs and everything like that? Just change it. Boom. Boom. You know what I mean? Bam, bam, bam. Bang, bang. You guys, you want to know the one? You guys want to know the one? I'll tell my secret. It was after a long time. I did it two times. I did it two times a week. And then I had a medicine ball routine, but I won't get into the medicine ball routine. But there was a lift I did two times a week. My, my quote unquote championship lift. All right. And this is, and then the other two days I would do, I would do medicine ball routines, but Obviously, we'd spar and grapple and do all that in the evenings, but I would do, you go through, I had nine stations that I would do, and you do sets of 25, sets of 25 in each one, all up to the point where you do lunges and you do squats, and then you get on the treadmill, and you'd, you'd go up 0.5, you start at like 6.5 or 7 speed, and you go up 0.5 every two minutes, and you raise up the incline 0.2 every two minutes and you go for 10 minutes sprint that out 
and you go back through all the lifts again, 25 reps of each one, 25 squats, lunges, all that. Then you go back through the sprints again. Then we come back and go through it a third time. And then we go downstairs and we go, we do, we work on the tie pads for like about, I don't know, half an hour plus. And so that was one of my biggest things, but that's why I never, ever, ever, ever got tired, ever got tired in a five round fight. Never, never. And then I had this medicine ball routine that was an hour and a half long. But by the time we'd get to the end, we had, we probably could finish it in 45 minutes. And then Militich had this fucking hill that we had to run. And I think the most I've ever done, ever, was 16. It, it's the fucking stupidest thing ever. But he's like, you finish this. And you'd be, it, it's, it's crazy. So we had to do all that. But yeah, I had this, I had a lift that I'd go through. And it was like pushing, pulling stuff the whole time. You know, different lifts, bench, inclined rows, um, pull downs, all this stuff. And just do sets of 25. And you just could not, you could not get tired. So. Zulu's not dabbing it. Look, he's not liking this shit at all. Here it comes right here. Boom. Anson just right hands him. Boom. Oh. Oh. Now he's going to kill him. Look, he threw the ref to the fucking ground. The ref's still counting. Look at Anson's trying to just get this ass in there. Now he makes me want to see Egan. Oi. Throw him. There you go. Elbows. What? Other than the winning, what was my favorite fight? The one I just showed. That was probably one of my most technical moments. And then I think my favorite fight was Bozo Pauling. Just because, like I said, it was just the only time I had both my brothers with me. And stuff like that. It was just a good fight. What a look at Egan. Egan on the run. Look at Egan. Yeah, that was badass. Look at him. He's still pissed. Look, he's still pissed. He's still pissed off. Elbows to the back of the head. Why not? Look at that. Why not back then? 1997? Shit. Everything works. Ha-ha. Look at this motherfucker, 1998. This guy, my hero. Eight minute rounds. Wait, is that? Did it say? Did it just say that? Eight minute, three round, three eight minute rounds. Thirty five and thirty one. Huh? Tell when I shaved the beard. Shaved the beard. I know, but I got. Cut with something. I don't know what I did. Whole school ready. Look at this shit. Yeah, I forgot when he was raw. Real American wrestling. The raw team. I wanted to be a part of that thing so bad back in the day. And I remember leaving a message. I got no, I got no, I got no, no reply back. And then I remember I tried to reach out to Tito. No, no reply back then either. Yeah. <laughs> Randy Kucha. Oh my God. Look at this fucking blood pile. Holy shit. Where is this? Look at that. It reminds me of the time that, that when they're doing that Kumite and that guy goes up and starts cleaning the blood and he grabs a little gold tooth that, that got knocked out dude's mouth. He's like, oh shit, he kept it. I took hella brain damage from all them losses, didn't me? Do I sound like I got, do I sound like I'm damaged? Do I sound like I have brain damage? And wouldn't I take, I, it, I could take brain damage in the fights I won too. I could have got a lot of brain damage just in sparring long before any fights. You know what I mean? I don't know. But, I mean, oh, so you think I have brain damage. I get it. Football players take more brain damage than fighters. Yeah, but I'm just saying, you'd all tell me if I was punchy, right? Wouldn't you say that, I mean, if I if I sounded punchy, right? You'd be like, yo, chins, 
you sound a little punchy, right? Or you're repeating yourself over and over, or you forgot the name of your children, <laughs> or, or, or you don't remember anything that you did in any of your fights, or something, right? I mean, you'd tell me, y'all would tell me if I was punchy, right? Then the referee's like, now, nope. I mean, I wanted Randy to step back all the way, like, hey, man, stand back up. But they start doing that butt scooting. Uh, oh, is he? It, oh, for real? Friends Gary Gooder, he's getting gross from my dad in lockdown and he's punchy. Oh, that sucks. See, I don't know. I get, I mean, I've, I've heard of punchy, right? But I don't think I've ever really forgotten anything or anything like that, you know? <clears throat> but, like I said, maybe I sit there and tell stories or so. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, he tried to explode when he popped up real quick. It's beautiful. Oh. Yo, Nerd King. Ah, oh, man. Have, hey, have a great night. I appreciate it. Be real. Be good. Be real good. Yeah? Well, that, and look at the way, the clinch game. You know what I mean? The clinch game that Randy had. That's like, this is what I got addicted to with the whole idea. I was like, dude, this is dirty boxing. And it was the clinch game. This is what, I. this is who I was like. I mimicked this guy. I was like a huge Randy Couture and all of them. Because obviously, I was a wrestler coming through college. So I wanted to be, I was like, okay, these are the guys that are now taking this and, and they're showing us the gateway, right? And I was like, oh, my God, I just wanted to be able to get in there. And, and so that's where I did the clinching and stuff. Because we still don't know enough about, I didn't know enough about boxing. And, you know, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, no, I, no, for sure. Yeah, that one guy, I get it. Thank you very much. I know I'm not. That's the funny thing. It's just, it, it's funny because it, it, it's always, to me, has been weird. As you sit here having a conversation that somebody's got to come in here named Wookie Jesus, for fuck's sakes, and starts explaining to me how I'm punchy by all my knockouts. Like, ah, no, yeah, pretty much Wookie. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, yeah, it's exact. You nailed it right on the melon. We was rolling. You know what's crazy, though? Yeah, I'm undefeated in boxing. You know what's crazy? Yeah, we can find the one fight. You want to see my... my uh, my professional debut. Uh, I don't know if Selector can find it, but there we see. Um, my dad is also friends with George Chevello, who somehow isn't punchy despite fighting the entire great heavyweight class of the 60s. That's crazy, right? I know people that have been KO'd 20 times. Here's the thing, man. It's not, It's not. again, it's not the punches, like the KOs in the fights and stuff, especially if you took yourself and gave yourself the time afterwards. I think where a lot of people get away from this idea of punchy is in the sparring. Putting on that fucking headgear with 16 ounce gloves and going out there and sparring 10, 15, 20 rounds. But the reason why is what happens is if we were in a fight, in a, in a, in a fight, and I got knocked out, I'm suspended for 90 days. I can't do any type of any kind of collision. I can't do any kind of fighting where it can hit my head. Suspended, right? But if I get knocked out in practice, I'm fucking suspended for the day and I'll be back next week sparring again with the pillow on my fucking head and the 16 ounces on my gloves. And that's where you see a lot of boxers and a lot of stuff. That's where the dead. Now you notice a lot of people have just gotten away from sparring altogether. Like they'll do timing sparring. You can do a lot of pad work. We can sit there and go back and forth, bong sao, you know what I mean? And drill, drill. But they don't really do much sparring. But back in my day, we put that headgear on and we put on those gloves and we threw that. The thing that really saved me, ironically, even though my man wants to be a dick, ironically, one of the things that saved me back in those sparring sessions, and I don't say this in a, in a, in a braggadocious way, I was fucking filthy. Young gents boxing, it was stupid. Nobody could touch me. I, slipped, I concussed everything. I fucked everybody up. I was a boxing machine. Go ask anybody in the military crew. Back when I was the world champion and stuff, my boxing was stupid. Stupid. And but I think it saved me from I've been I got hit maybe once or twice. I mean the knockouts, yeah, man, you get stunned and then you get suspended and you do what you do. So it's just like I said, it's just the ignorance of some people. But at least it, at least they got their click. They got their little clickbait. You know what I mean? Like I said, ooh, I told Gen Z's punchy, giggle, 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 he's punchy. 
from all his knockouts. And then I'm going to make another, I'm going to make another account so I can come back and go, Hey, you're a, you suck. And then I'm going to giggle, giggle. And then I'm going to make another account so I can come back and tell you, I hate your shirt. Then I'm going to make another account so I can come back and tell you, I hate your hat. All the while we're all sitting there wondering, wow, the fuck are you making so many accounts, you numb nuts. But anyway, let us continue. Arm bar, arm bar. I oh, got it. Quick. God damn, it hit that quick. See, this is where you get nervous when you start playing in that guard and you need to posture up faster. But my man spun. You gotta be careful. That was slick, real slick. Look at he's already coming around. See, Randy doesn't again doesn't realize it maybe it's the you know we, we're still figuring this shit out and that's when the rest of those open guard oh pop the pop up get get out get out right can't be messing around with that shit we don't know arm bars see randy's still trying to punch him in his face <laughs> he just wants to hold his head and grab the back of his head and punch him and then when he realized it see then he tried to go out the back door and it's already too late Ensign back in the day, man. I like that guy. Ensign was something. He was cool. Here it is. Y'all want to see the greatest soccer kick ever? Look at Baba Lou is 24 in this shit. This whole time he had it. I'm such a dumbass. The single biggest punch in MMA history, man. 100. What up, Cordette? How you doing, bro? Arsenic, how you doing? And all is good. Are you ready for the big boys? The fighter to my left in the black trunks trimmed and white with the full contact fighter logo on him. From Minneapolis, Minnesota. Professional fighting record of seven wins and three losses. Please welcome Brad Kula. And ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, also in the black trunks, trimmed in white, brings a professional fighting record of 12 wins against zero losses. Dude, he kept bouncing, 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 and then he just stepped in and whack! He hit that motherfucker so hard, and my man knocked out. It the way he fell was beautiful. Brad Kohler has been, and that's his. That's literally his claim to fame was that one bounce, bounce like UFC twenty four or five or six. He said bounce, 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 whack! And I mean, he hit that man. He hit that guy so hard. Holy shit! I bet you could probably find it. Look at baby Babalu. Baby Babalu. We're all 24 and 23 years old in this shit. Third and fourth. Third and fourth knee to the dome. Skeet, 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 skeet. Oh, now we're free. We're free. Look, he's already got his hands on his knees. That's no fucking bueno. But an absolute, oh, without a doubt. He's the Brazilian Jeremy Horn. He's 100% the Brazilian Jeremy fucking Horn. They don't have like the, 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 the Adonis body, but they will fuck you up if you come at them improper, especially with their kicks, and then they'll submit your ass. He's the fucking Brazilian Jeremy Horn. They're the same goddamn people. And we call Jeremy Horn Gumby. Kohler just wants to put his hands on his knees. He's so tired. Look at him. <laughs> Steve Jensen. That's the guy's name. What up, Jordan Lee? Steve Jensen. That's the one. Judson. Judson. Ooh, there he goes. With shoes on. Oh my God, bald bull. Holy shit, I forgot about bald bull. Kohler is really telegraphing his shoot here. 
I'm doing good, Jordan Lee. How you doing? They're booing. Let's go, Babalu. The biggest upper body. Look at them tiny ass little ankles. He's trying to make like he's going to shoot, but he's not. He's got to at least shoot a couple shots. You know what I mean? Look, there, you got to at least shoot a couple. And if you could successfully get one, then it'd be, you know what I mean? Then it'd be worth it. But this is how you set it up. Then you could dip, bang. But you got to successfully score something that's going to make him worry about them shots, right? Oh, bang. And then you leave that floater when you go by. Well, then, if you don't make him respect your level change or make you respect anything, then why would I buy, you know, why would the person bite on it? That's, again, the same thing, like, to run out there <laughs> before they test it for, yeah, yeah, get, uh, go to, um, but they, uh, that's one thing, go out, like I said, man, go out there and just, like, whatever your power hand is, go out there and just fire that thing one time as hard as you can, bam, or in a tie fight, go out there and just throw a hard leg kick right off the bat and hope that they block it, but then they feel it, and they're like, oh, shit. Like, that's what I'm saying. Throw it as hard as you can, and don't be discouraged that it gets blocked. The idea is you want it to be blocked, but that's how you're starting to set up your, your smoke show, right? That's how you're starting to set up your magic show. And then you come back, whoop, and then they, they flinch. Now you're like, oh, my God, now I got them. So then you start hitting and hitting, and then he, God damn it, I just did that. Man, what did I just punch right there? Then you start hitting and hitting, and then you go from there, right? Oh, another one. Here he goes. Tattooing him. Up. Oh. Hey, look how tired he is. <laughs> I never said nothing. I didn't say it was abusing your kids by not ever going to school. That's messed up. As soon as that Rona hits, guess who's hitting me up for advice? No, no, I know. I just played. I had to. I had to. I had to take the opportunity. Curse slabs. I had to take the opportunity. Look at him. Now look at this. Y'all know what's about to happen. Okay, look at. He pushes his head down, like he holds it, like he's drowning him. Right, like he's drowning him. Boom. Boom! That's it. Yo, what that one guy, MJ Donut with the 20s. The UFC was at its best when you and BJ were in there beating everybody. Love those days. I watch them old fights all the time. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for the dono. I appreciate that. Hell yeah. Thank you. That one guy, hell yeah, thank you. Hey, he kicked, but you see the way he did it though? I wonder if they'll replay it. So I'm not, okay, they will. Yo mama, with the follow. T.Y., yo mama. But look, he just pushes on his head, pushes on his head. Boof. He's lucky he didn't step back and throw one. You know what I mean? He didn't just step back and hi -yi! Oh, oh, devastating kick. Beautiful punt kick. I, I tell you this this knockout actually Steven may have been set up. Do you remember Jeff Munson MMA commercials? No. The Jeff Munson MMA commercials? No. I'd have to look at that. Kevlar Scar with the photo T.Y. Kevlar T.Y. I believe it was on this card. Here he goes. Watch his bounce. Look at it. Watch his bounce. Watch his bounce. Here he goes. Oh, look. You can see it. Ready? <laughs> Fuck. Here he goes. And it made him a god. Boom. And he walked away. Made him a god. It made him a god. And you see the big Have I been out cold like that? Yeah. I don't remember any 
aspect of anything. I don't remember the fight. I don't remember anything. He hit me. He came in, freaked out, just started throwing a whole bunch of punches and an elbow just ripped through and just boom. And I got sat into the ropes and I don't remember. I'm stuck in the ropes. Like It was like uh, Ray Mercer and Tommy, I mean, Tommy Morris and I just boom, boom. He hits me three times and my head just and then they finally stepped back and I just died. I don't remember shit. Pocky said I come with little crushable talents like it, it did in, uh, what was that? Um, Bloodsport? Who used to play Who used to play the trumpet in high school? Or in junior high? In elementary? No one else? Just me? Just me? Ah. I, do I still have my trumpet? Yeah, it's silver. John Matua. Yeah! The Panda Cat Podcast with the host, T.Y. T.Y. He said, nerd. You want to know the worst part? Not not the worst part, curse out, but the cool part? During the summer, I was in a jazz band. And I used to go take private lessons. And I had a, I had a silver trumpet. I used to do solos. I was in a, I was in a, a five-man band, and I, we used to do these solos. I had to do a solo that I had to play against high schoolers when I was in the sixth grade. I beat them all. I beat them all with the solo. And you want to know why I played the trumpet? Because, you know, like in the sixth grade, you sit there and you start checking out all the all the instruments and shit. And they're like trying to give me the, the, the trombone or the tuba. And you want to know why? They go, you can't play the trumpet. Said, why? They said, your lips are too big. I said, what? They go, you got a fat ass lips. You got to get, you got to play one of these other ones. They go, fuck that. I'm playing the trumpet. And I became one of the, man, I was the shit. I was the business. I was smashing competition, doing solo. I would do solo, all that stuff, man. Solo and shit, hell yeah. Because they said I couldn't. So I was like, all right, fuck that. And I started playing the trumpet because of that shit. But then in high school, the problem was, they're like, you got to choose. I'm like, what do you mean choose? You got to choose between band and sports. I was like, that's not even a choice. What do you mean? So I gave up the, I gave up the trumpet and started, started doing the whole goddamn Wrestling, you know what I mean? Ooh, the sax. Hell yeah, see? Hell yeah, there you go. I was in a little jazz band, little jazz quartet. Tay. Heck yeah, man. Fuck yeah. I remember Jingle Bell Rock sitting there, all that shit. Thank God they ain't got no more of those VHS. All that shit's gone. But I don't have it, man. My mom kept that thing. Or no, I might have left, I might have left that down into... Uh, in Lodi, California. I left every, everything I owned. I it was in the garage, Bob Shamrock's garage. May he rest in peace. And I left to Iowa. I never got any of that stuff back. So all of my high school, college memorabilia is all gone. It was all, it's all gone. I got no idea where. When he passed away, I don't know who took what, where, or anything. I got belts. Yeah, man, in Lodi. It's the last, it was in the 209. I have belts. I had all my wrestling medals, all my wrestling stuff, my brackets and shit that I had. And, man, I had everything in there. I thought that, Curse Labs, but that was, I mean, that's a long time ago. I mean, it's 20 years. You know what I mean? It's 20 years. The only person I'd probably know now would be Ken Shamrock, but I don't even ask. You know what I mean? But, eh, they're waiting. Fuck that. They ain't waiting. Someone takes my, you can have my big ass TV and my tennis shoes out for that induction. Yeah, fucking whatever. You know what's funny? My boss shooting invitational belt's still down there too. And the eagle, they gave me this big ass eagle. <laughs> yeah. And my trumpet, it's in there. So, yeah, my mom is always asking, where's that trumpet? My man, I don't know. Oh! that he's going to punch down and then he comes around the well good thing I'm never going to get into the Hall of Fame like nobody's going to be in the Hall of Fame this year or this will be the year that they would put me in because nobody will be they can't do an actual whatchamacallit so they're like we'll just throw him in there real quick hey Jens Paul congratulations fucker and then it'll be done no ceremony because y'all can't we ain't going to be able to we can't have more than two people around gloves for Mikey Garcia Garcia I'm surprised fell for that shot right there he throws it with a left hook and an overhand right. Sharp jab counter by Garcia. 
You tank throw fight, just an angry little man trying to hurt people. I'm down, man. Hey, Tam, I'd like to see for sure. I got a hundred bucks. I got a hundred bucks says I don't get in. And I'll tell you, look, because here's the problem. And I'm probably going to kick myself in the sack right now by doing it. But, man, I'm telling you, man, it, 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 my wife's a gangster. She's she's a gangster, man. It's like, at this point, no. She says, fuck that. You don't need anybody's charity. What you did, you did, man. You, you go out there and you be proud of what you did, but you don't need anybody's charity. I'm like, hey, I, I appreciate that. But. I appreciate everybody's support and everybody always bringing it up. And that does mean a lot. It does mean a lot. So I just stay quiet. I smile and it does, like I said, it, it means the world. But I'm not going to sit there and be that guy like pushing for my own. I should fucking be there. You know, I ain't doing that shit. I'm not selling my, I'm not selling that. See, well, that's it, cuss. And that's what I mean. You guys have already, you know what I mean? You guys have all, yes, to be there would be great. And that's Nostromo. It, it would be. It would be. And I would love it. You know what I mean? And I would love it. But the reality is, again, if, if, if you know, if, if the story lives on and people are, you know, I mean, it is what it is. As long as my kids are proud when they get older, you know, and my, my as long as my family's proud, then what else can I do? You know, the people that believed in me, like I said, getting to rap with everybody. I mean, as long as as long as you all are proud, you know what I mean? And that's all you can do. I mean, I know. Yeah, I know, Curse Labs. I'm, I'm with you. But I can't. The problem is this. It, it's, I don't have faith because I don't, I don't even really think about it. You know? I'm just appreciative when people bring it up. It's like, it's, it's very cool. And it means a lot to hear. But at the same token, you know I mean? It's not something that, I mean, it's just not something that, do you prefer fighting MMA in a cage or a ring? I like the cage. I like the cage. I just like it just in general. Because I don't like people have I don't like the whole idea of stop and pull your asses back in, stuff like that. You know what I mean? And that's for the most part. And I've seen people shoot through the middle rope and go flying out, hit a chair one time, dude broke his back, shit like that. So the cage is just a lot safer. I mean, I do get it in the striking sense, but, yeah, you know I mean, and then the heavier guys, the bigger guys go over the top rope, stuff like that. So it just depends, you know? But I don't like that old stop and dragging people back in and shit. We got to go back. How far back? Oh, what a dear, my boy. Ah, oh, look at him. He clowned him. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, of course, Rip Ramon. Look at him. How nervous was I before big fights? Mm, I don't, you know what I mean? Fat boy with the sub TY, fat boy TY. Like I said, dude, y'all don't be afraid, man. You come hang out in Discord anytime you want. Y'all know that. Look, I hit it twice, you see. Um, I don't know, man. It was, I didn't get, like, I never got nervous of, of, like, being beat up, right? I never got nervous, like, fighting. I got, the only thing I was ever really nervous about is I just didn't want to look like a fucking idiot. I just didn't want to embarrass myself. I didn't want to, well, not even me. I didn't want to embarrass my family. I didn't want to embarrass all the people that are supporting me. And I hated that shit. I hated having to go up and apologize. That's all I could do is apologize. Man, I'm sorry. That's why I retired at the end because I was trying to figure out where I was at and why I wasn't winning anymore. But then everybody, I'm looking at people's, the pain in their face. I'm like, fuck it. That's it, man. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. So I just, like I said, it wasn't, thank God for Australia, because that's when I quit. Yeah, I was done. If you think you could have got over that, nah, um, no. Because, like I said, the problem was, the problem was this. Look, I made a promise when I was a kid. Like I said, I made a promise. I said, look, man, one day I'm going to get famous. And so anyways, I, I went through this whole ordeal. I was going to be a world champion. I was going to change my name. I was going to do this shit. I said, I went, I went bat shit. I was hell bent. And then even after I won the world title, I wasn't done yet. But then when I did the ultimate fighter, literally the next day, bing, I was like, 
night and day. Then I did that documentary, and there I had my wife. My son was a year old. I was like, I just, like, she used to go, man, go get your ass out to training camp. Take your ass to training camps. Go to fucking training camps. And I'm like, no, I just want to stay home and hang out. So I already had one foot out the door, man. I was already, I had one foot out the door. I was already, it just, I just didn't, I wanted to be around my family because that's all I was out trying to achieve. I was just trying to be a better person than the, than the fucking dad I had, you know? And so I was just trying to, I was just trying to achieve that. And then, like I said, I was so afraid. I never wanted, and I'm still, sometimes, sometimes I'm still a little punk, man. I'm still a little punk. I'm a little baby. You know what I mean? I'm still working on shit, but I still have like, I react. I do things, things just, like I said, I don't, so I'm still trying to work on it. I'm always trying to be, you know, I'm trying to be better. Yeah. And so it's like, but then I got to deal with, when you get old, man, people don't perceive you as a threat anymore. So you got to deal with like, if people are going to be disrespectful and stuff like that, you know, you get like some whacked out dumb shit coming in here telling me you're punchy and shit. But you know what I mean? So it's just, I don't know. What up, Tenny, bro? I just wanted to be happy, you know? I don't know. But I just didn't want to be that intense person, and I really didn't like leaving. I don't like leaving the house. I don't like leaving my family. I don't, like I said, we have this deal, my wife and I. My kids don't do babysitters, man. There won't be, there will not be a baby. There hasn't been yet. Ain't a baby, unless you are immediate family, you will not raise my kids. I will. You know what I'm saying? Like people say, hey, come out to the bar and watch the fights. I'm like, can my kids come? No, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> like I'm not trying to miss it. I'm not trying to be, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to be away from them. I'm not trying to have that regret later on. I'm going to miss those. I missed the first seven years, you know? Oh, fuck that. It's my turn. Plus, my wife was a baller, man. She sat around and took care of that. And like, I'm like, look, it's your turn. So I already had one foot out the door. I was like, it's your turn. Go. I want you to achieve your dreams. I want you to achieve the things you want in life. You know what I mean? And that's a fact. That's like, I want everybody, I want everybody, you know, to, I just want you to achieve your dreams. And it's, I did mine. Mine, I achieved my dream. Literally achieved my dream, you know? And now it's, and then I was just going through the motions after because I didn't know what the fuck to do with myself. I'm still trying to figure that shit out. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just sitting here telling stories and I love it, but I'm happy and I enjoy it. You know, like this year I have a goal. I know I keep pausing, but I don't want to talk over the music and I don't want to miss it. Like this year I have a goal. I'm going to learn how to mess around in the yard. I'm going to learn how to build a baller ass, a big baller garden outside. I'm going to figure that out. At some point I want to learn how to do concrete. See, I need to find me the, I need to find me a fix it. Somebody that knows how to do this shit. You know what I mean? That know what they're doing. Like, know how to, like, uh, like maybe build wall, you know, put up walls and, and, and lay concrete. Just an overall handyman. I just, want, I just want to be around them so they can teach me. I want to learn. I want to learn how to do all that shit. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm after. So if I can figure that. Ooh, see the plumbing. Fat boy. Oh, you're my, that's, yeah. Huh? Look at that. See, 18 years. I'll teach you. Dude, Rob Moto, I'll teach you how to fight the entire time. I'll do that shit for free. The deal is this. I don't want to learn. I don't want to learn how to. I want to learn how to do it, right? I want to learn how to do this. If I want to be able to walk into a room, rip everything down, and just be like, oh, you know what? I'm going to put in new floors. I'm going to throw down some measurements. I'm going to learn how to put up this shit. I mean, that's the kind of stuff. And concrete, yeah, man. I want to learn how to do concrete. If I could, I'd have concrete from the fucking road straight to the creek, to the river in the backyard. I would concrete everything. Everything. I wouldn't even feel bad about it either. What's something you would tell 18-year-old Jens that you know now? Mom. I can't. Well, shit, what would I say? <laughs> No, I can't. I can't because any one of those things would have changed. I wouldn't have met my wife, man. I wouldn't have had my kids. No, I, no, no fucking way. I can't. There's nothing I could say different because if any one thing would have changed, any one thing, any, I wouldn't be here, this, right now. 
So I said, man, it took a long time. It took a long time to, to get to that point. You know what I'm saying? But just do you go with your heart. That's what I probably, I guess that's what I tell them. Go with your heart. But that's what I did anyway. Create your story. That's what I did. But like I said, if any one of those losses would have changed, if I wouldn't have given up, given the belt back, if I wouldn't have done everything, if I wouldn't have done any er, every one of those things, then life would have been altered. And I wouldn't have been walking down the Hard Rock Casino. You know what I mean? Eight hours late. Eight hours late. I wouldn't have been walking down that fucking casino. And I wouldn't have met my wife. Like I said, I literally have the picture of the first 30 seconds. The first 10 seconds I've met him. What's funny. Look at this. <laughs> it's so dumb. I hold it. This picture, it ain't going to make it. It's not going to make it very long. But I, I mean, I, I have it. It ain't, ain't going to make it. The, the thing's going, the thing's falling. Falling. Hell no. I'm not. I don't need to. How you end up so cool and down to earth and talking to some 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. worker like me making pet food? Like, I can't wrap my head around it. You're a champ. But, yeah, but you want to know why? Hold up, because here's why. And this is a fact, fat boy. And this is a legit fact. It ain't me. I'm not doing anything different. You guys are giving me your time. Again, I'll say this and I will say this to the day I die. The greatest gift any one person can give is time. And you're all coming in here and giving me your time. Money can't buy it and everybody wants more of it. Do you have any idea how fucking cool that is? That's, I'm humbled. So the least I can do is sit here and rap and talk and share my time as just like you're all doing with me. You're all sharing your fucking time with me. You know how many people don't ever, will never ever understand that or will never ever be given that kind of gift? You know how many times there's a car broke down on the side of the road and people just drive on by? Hundreds of people will drive by because they are too busy dealing with what, through no fault of their own, they're just dealing with what they're, what they got going on. But for people to stop just because they know your name, to stop and give you their time, and they'll wait in line for an hour, hour and a half, just to meet you? Fuck all that, man. You're crazy. That's the thing, man. You're crazy. That's you are giving that's the greatest gift ever. So that's why it's like, that's why one, here's the deal. That's why I turn off the viewers. So I don't know how many people are watching watching my stream right now. Cause I don't. I don't want to know because I, I want to treat five people the same way I would treat 5,000 people, the same way I would treat 50,000 people. You know what I mean? That's why I don't want to know how many viewers I have because I'm going to treat anyone and everyone. That's why I pause. Everybody calls me the pause king. I pause because I want to make sure I take the time to talk to y'all, you know, because this is not just to sit back and watch me do what the fuck I'm doing and y'all just shut the fuck up and watch doesn't do that. You know what I mean? That, that's not what I'm here to do. So, like I said, quality, quantity, you know I mean? Two different things. But, so to me, you all taking the time, and I literally try to, I try to answer everybody as much as I can, you know, even with, even when, like, poor Tam's been sitting here for like 25 minutes waiting for his fucking fight to end. <laughs> Tam, I like, God damn, you know what I mean? But it's it's been a Tam day. It's been a Tam day. But that's the thing. So, and that's all I want to do, man, is I want to pass that on. I want to pass all that on to everybody else. I'll play a fight, whatever. Hold on, I got to see what's wrong with my wife real quick. So, checking the corners if they're ready. Here they go. Shake hands. And Taichi guy has a little interesting posture. Oh, that's it.
That was it, guys. That was it. So, here's some interesting things to note. Slow this down. Watch this. Look at that. Do you see that? Our Tai Chi guy seems to not be sure whether he wants to go southpaw or not. So, let's slow this down even more. And then, you guys will see in a second. See that? He's like, uh, do I move my foot back or do my foot front? He doesn't know what he's doing. And then, I think, you know, he's probably trying to use some kind of Tai Chi thing. And you should gauge distance with this arm. I don't know what he's trying to do. And then, watch this. Slipped right outside the shot. I don't want to see that. Boom. Uh, look at that. So our MMA guy. He melted him. Fakes a left. Watch this. See? He fakes that left right there. But the right's what he's actually chambering and launching. And look at that. Our Tai Chi master just did not even see it. Look at how he fell. Crumpled. Blew his oh, knee. Wrecked his knee. Ugh. The whole deal. Well... Never seen it from this angle before. I've seen this fight before, but I've never seen it from this angle. And I've definitely not put this on my channel, I don't think. Have I? The, the, but the question is... Wait, is this... We got some uncut? What is this thing? What is this one? Do we watch this? He forgot his flower. He had his big toe lifted or some shit. What is this one? Ding Hao Wing Chun Master? Is this the Wing Chun Master? I'm going to watch it. Let me see this. Wait, I have seen this. has been the one. Oh, my God. You got to be kidding me. The Pope of Dope 420. <laughs> yes. Thanks for the follow. I want to see his page. He's in Jordan's. My man's in my, what up, brother? My man's in Jordan's. Well, yeah, we knew that. Here's my question for every single martial artist I've ever really, I've watched, at least when it comes to this. Do they not even know that an overhand, an overhand punch? I mean, they have no fucking clue of an overhand of any kind. Or like, is it like you're not allowed to raise your punches past chest level? Like, you can only go chest level. You know what I'm saying? Chest level, that's it. Because it's like they don't even look the fuck up at all. Overhand. It's like they don't even see the shit. No, that's the thing. Tai Chi does have movement. It's low kicks and stuff like that. And there is some striking. But what I'm saying is, I'm not, I'm in no way, shape, or form, am I trying to be a, a, a dick? I'm being dead ass honest. Because it's almost like every time you watch one of these, one of these individuals that train this stuff, whenever you get in close and they just hit them with an overhand and they just, they just thump. They have no idea what's happening. They don't even know to even look for it. You know what I mean? So now here he comes again. See, I know why he's now he's definitely not looking because he's just getting overwhelmed. Uh -huh. 
I'll tell you what's not. You want to know what's not worthless? My man's suit. I would take that in two seconds. Two seconds. There he is. That's why they hate his ass. In Tai Chi, they teach what? Tai Chi is for really? All the fighting sports got turned into dancing by the government in China. They didn't want people training to fight. That makes sense. That literally makes sense. See, look, he threw a couple. Now he's throwing some punches. They outlawed martial arts, killing many of their stylists, so the centuries of effectiveness and know how has mostly been lost. All right, that makes sense. That's what I'm saying, right? The DS boy stopped the style, but. There you go. He's swinging now. Look, he's he's at least pissed. It's becoming back to a plum and a shock. That's not bad. I mean, that's fine. Look, at now all of a sudden he's, once he has basically bailed on all practices and just started fucking fighting, now he's, now he's in. You know what I mean? Why is the one guy, this is the guy that was over there taking on, the, he's the MMA guy fighting, he's debunking all of the martial arts, right? A Dizzle 88 with the follow. Are these still, like, can we see his page and see, like, him do more of this? And that's what I'm saying. Is he fighting Skechers or Jordans? Because that's business. And he, he's very hated, Snail Barf. If you were in here yesterday and heard what they were talking about, my man here is horribly hated. Like, remember they made him paint his face. The shit they were telling me yesterday? Oh, it was amazing. There you go. Look, he got a shot in right there. He got that uppercut in. Oh, he clowned him. He clowned him like that. Oh! Did he clown him? Oh! <laughs> Look at how he, he, he covered up his face like that. <laughs> Look at this guy diving. <laughs> oh my god. I'm kind of, I would like to see a Tai Chi versus Tai Chi. 100. I want to see. I'd like to see some. Yo, Ooks, Ooks, yeah. What up? Wide, wide. Look at, look at, diving in. Yeah, look. <laughs> I want his suit though. Oh my God, I want his suit. Don't let him. Don't let him hold the shirt. I'm with that. Maybe he shouldn't be allowed to grab. What do you think the best striking foundation to learn is? You know, I don't, it's that, that's literally not up to me to say, you know what I mean? It's not, it, it's how you want to learn what you want to learn. And you know what I mean? Why you're trying to learn it. Cause you're taking about, you're talking about, and I believe somebody asked me about the Dutch style. Dutch style is Western boxing with Muay Thai kicks, whereas in the Thai version, it's a lot more of up and straight up and down with a lot of blocking and counter kicking, a lot of kicking, a lot of kicking, a lot of knees, dirty, a, a great clinch, and putting a lot of pain on it. Um, 
They hate, yeah, John. They hate this guy. They remember they were telling me yesterday, like they made him wear a mask. Cause it's like to embarrass the shit out of him and put him like way down in the levels of society, so he can't even. It's I guess there's a lot of shit, man. A lot of hate. Um, did we watch this against the Kung Fu Master? Probably not. I'll watch it all. But um, anyway, I think I got half cut off, but you know, man. But I think when it comes to stand up, whatever you think is most effective and then utilizing that and having confidence behind it, which is the biggest thing. What's happening with this guy? Like, for example, he's probably been doing this for years and years and years. And the minute he got punched in the face, he had no confidence until he actually got pissed off. And then what did he do? He went right back to a jab and a cross to me. Boxing hands, Muay Thai kicks, is, which would be Dutch style, is probably the most lethal, it's extremely lethal stand-up style. But then when you start adding in spins, out of sand, you know what I mean? And you start adding in this movements and side-to-sides and all that, man, it's just, that's the biggest thing. Adding in movement changes up everything. Standing right in front of each other and fighting is one thing, but adding in movement and striking, feints, all this other stuff. So good. It just depends how you want, what you want to learn, learn everything, you know, but like I said, Western style boxing and, you know what I mean? With Muay Thai kicks would be shit. Cause then you guess what? How about this? So you've got the clinch work, you know, in the, the Muay Thai style, but then you've got the, you've got the wrestling clinch work. I'll take a wrestling clinch work right now, all day, any day, every day, Point blank, don't give a fuck. You can argue with me till you blue in the face, and I'll still go. I don't give a shit what you're saying. Wrestling, controlling that head, controlling that bicep, and the way that we can get heavy and weigh down on people and make it feel like we're that we're 200 pounds heavier. It's a fact. I mean, add it all that. But again, that's the other thing, haterade. That's why it's called. You know I mean, that's why it's called MMA, right? Everything goes. Make your style work. If you like your style, whatever that may be, go out there and make it work. And that's what I'm saying, you know? Oh! Oh! Look at the way he went down. He's locked up. Locked up. Look at him, he's still holding his pose. His arms. Those are perfect for uh He's Frankenstein, brother. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. What can you say? Next thing you know, hey, next thing you know, we roll in and uh Oh, oh my god. Fucked him up. To the next uh the polar bear? Yeah, the next fight of the night. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh. oh. Oh to hit his head. And then that didn't help at all. That didn't help at all. Why is everything locked like that? Somebody told me that it depends on what side of the head you get hit, where they melt or they stiffen up. And I don't know, I can't, I can't, I'm not going to be able to say it correctly, but it's the way that you hit and everything gets really stiff. And I know the way he hit the back of his head, if you look at when they hit the, uh, when you hit the back of the head, when they, they hit the floor, it's like they're not expecting that. And then there it is, you know what I mean? It's like the Coupe de Gras that came on right there, I'll tell you what. I'm going to tell you what, I felt really bad <laughs> for about a half second. That's how it should be. <laughs> for about a half second. He did. Yeah, you can punch balls. Remember when when um, Keith, was it Keith Hackney, punched Joe Sando in the balls like 20 times? Straight shots to the cup, man. Just nut shot after nut shot. Shit, what about when Mark Coleman used to take people down and just sit there and fucking headbutt them until they tapped out? I don't know if y'all... Have you all ever actually watched young Mark Coleman in this shit? 
fucking Mark Coleman back in the day, that mother, man, that dude was a fucking, oh my God. Are you kidding me? Show it. If you can find it, fuck, I don't know where it is. I ain't looking for it. I don't know how he found this. But Mark Coleman, I mean, he would lay down and just start headbutting you. It was nuts. Look, he puts a knee on his face just to be a dick. Look at him. He just shoves his knee right on his face to be an asshole. That's awesome. And look at my man is kicking, flailing, throwing around, and can't get him off. And Tank's just putting his knee on his face. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Look at him. He just kneeing his chin. My man is throwing a fit. Now he's punching him. Get off! Get off! Hey, Varlin's screaming. Look, you're all pissed. There isn't anyone training MMA streams on Twitch, IRL. No, I hear you. I hear you. Look, I'll sit right here and I'll teach how to slip underneath, come back with the hook. I sit right here in this chair. I'll teach you how to faint, how to step, how to watch to shift your weight, how to throw them punches, how to twist, how to crank, how to grab a hold, how to control. That's what I do on this stream all day. All day. I'm not getting no gym. He is mad as fuck. He sat there laying on his back, flopping around with his feet while someone shoved a knee in his face and then started punching him. Of course he's pissed. You want to know why? Because somebody somewhere told that big motherfucker he was tough. Dude, you should do this ultimate fighter. You'll kill them all. You'll kill them all, Varland. And he went out there and literally got thrown down. My man shoved the knee in his face. You want to talk about feeling fucking helpless? You're laying there and your feet are just flopping around. And this guy's shoving a knee in your face and punching you until they stop. You know how fucking humiliating that would be? Horrible. Of course he's pissed off. You want to know why? Because the reality set in. Right after they stopped the fight, reality set in. He's like, fuck. It looked like that. That's why I see people all the time where they do shit like this. They go, they do, they they get, they get tap to a submission, then they get pissed off. What'd you start it for? It's like, nah, man, because then all of a sudden they, it, it, it hits them. I just tapped. And they now they're like, they feel like shit. This is it. This is when Mark Coleman came to stay with us and he trained with Pat Militich and he was training in Iowa. He was training in Iowa and he came up and he won with the North South with these knees to win the big Pride Grand Prix. The big Pride Grand Prix. Pat Milton's coach, it's like that, what, that $200,000 tournament or whatever that was? See, you hear Pat? Post between you and him with your left hand. There you go. Now he can't turn towards you. Here it goes. Look at that. Yeah, boy. Oh, you can stop at any time. Out he goes. There you go. The knee drops. Knee drops that Jens does. Somebody showed him this. That's what we do. No, I'm just kidding. He did it on his own. 
Knee drops, and he wins. Look, he won the whole thing. Look at him. He flipped everywhere. Look at my man flipped out. Flipped out. Look, he's everywhere. He's in the crowd. He's off. That ain't nothing. They're like, holy fuck, he just dipped. He dipped somewhere. Look, he's everywhere. He's everywhere. He's everywhere. Look. <laughs> the fucker's huge. He's huge. Oh, when he fell to the knees. Look at that. How the fuck do you fall like that? That's so knocked out. That is so knocked out. Your bones just with your bones just dipped. You don't even have ligaments anymore. Daku 007. Yeah, what the follow? That look at that shit. How do you do? <laughs> God. Look at here it comes. Bow! Right behind the ear, my man just sank like potato. Boom, sack of potato. Done. Done. Look at shit's all kinked up, fucking neck all broken and shit. Look at that knee. You know, damn good well that knee blew out. Well, okay. This guy. This guy right here. Fake martial arts is the gift that just keeps on giving. Now we've all seen <laughs> the crouching tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, man. Here we go. <laughs> he threw two little. He threw two little. Uh, he pop locked a little heel kick to the bucket. Dude, this is the funniest shit ever. Here we go. The screaming. Oh, oh my god. I sure as fuck didn't watch this. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? What am I? Come on, man. Daddy316 gifting that sub. I can't tell. What is this? What do you mean? Yet, yet. Uh, what is and everybody starts cheering. Now the woman is suffering from Why is everybody cheering? Everybody starts cheering like she did something. Ooh, she dropped the fucking hammer. Ooh. Uh, what? Pre-birth contractions is a visual representation of a Karen when you ask her to calm down after she's asked to speak to your manager. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, I don't like he said that part at the end, but whatever. Would have the ability. There he is. This fuckwit right here. This one. This one. This is why I had to do it. This one. Person in that way. What's even stranger is the This motherfucker can't even breathe. This is what I remember watching this dude. He's so fucking out of shape and and just he can't listen to him try to breathe. The idea that using the sound <sighs> energy can actually <sighs> to try for her first time to actually out using just the sound and the energy projection. Look at the side. This motherfucking belt is not there to hold this thing together. It's to hold his shit up. Now watch him fall. Watch it. This is the crate. This shit.
So here we have another morbidly obese fake martial arts master claiming that his students can knock him out using chi. The army in this video clip being that he looks like he's already going into cardiac arrest before she even begins. I feel like he was going into heart failure when it began and she really just, it was the final blow. <laughs> oh my god, talk to me. He can't even tell a story. But you see how they don't see what I'm saying about this? The, there's no overhands. Nobody trains like in any overhand. That's why someone just runs up and throws an overhand and just clocks them in the head and they fall down. Oh my God. What's that? The karate? The karate? Remember that game? Y'all, y'all too young. <laughs> Ye are kung fu. He fell. He fell because he can't even spin. He's so fucked up up here. He can't even spin. He got all. He got all dizzy. Look. He tries to recover. You know they call that sparring too, right? That's actually called sparring. Is it karate kid? No. But what was that game? Ye are kung fu. Old school video game. Nobody knows what I'm talking about? Ton Fan and all them were in it? What you just witnessed is a new form of martial arts when you want to engage in enraging your little brother but don't want to get in trouble with your mum for actually hitting him. It's called No Kicky Pissy Wissy. Arcade Kung Fu, but I thought there was a different name to it. God damn it, I'm going to find it now. I'll find it. This guy looks like he's doing the scarecrow, or the the mannequin, and it, or not the mannequin, but the the puppet, right? Red guy, white guy, kung fu. No, this was Yer Kung Fu is a game, and it's the one that has it had like all these different Tan Fan. He had the Tan Fan sticks. They had the ninja guy. No, nah, god damn it. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna find this. That's it. That's it. That's all right. Just give me a second. I'm gonna go hunting. I'm gonna find this shit right now. Oh yeah, there's a whole other, look at, he whips that chain all the, <coughs> there's Ton Fun. I told you there was a Ton Fun. Look at this guy whipped his chain all the way across the map. Oh, now I'm getting excited. Look at it. There you go, watch that chain, watch that chain. It's just getting his face. Toe taps, toe taps. The club. Virtual fire was pretty sick. Tekken might be the Tekken might be the greatest ever. That and Miss Pac-Man. Get to junior level or whatever it was. Tekken, dude. Second. Look at there's fan. Ah here's fan. And people actually knew which quarter was theirs that was still sitting up there. Now that's my quarter. People started touching. Don't nah, it's my quarter. <laughs> what is it? Best of the best, yo. Look at this though, the fan, dude. This game was tough. Oh, there it is. You got a time to jump. Got a time to jump. Session. Look, here comes sword. But look at there's Ton Fun. Ton Fun, boy. He's got those arm things. You just got to keep doing that low toe kick, toe kick. This game, dude, right? Because he's good. You just got to keep toe pick. Got to keep kicking that toe, man. 
Uh, you just got to get in their face. Get in their face. A lot of jump. A lot of jump. Back and forth. <laughs> he hasn't been touching like five against five people. There it is. Told you. Ton fun. Yeah. Yeah. Ring? King of the Ring boxing? Ring King boxing? It was an arcade game. We used to go up to the store. We could collect cans and bottles in Oregon. And we'd collect a whole bunch of them, go up there and trade them in and have quarters. So we'd get like five, ten bucks, buy all this goddamn candy and sit there and play. What was that boxing game? Something? King of the Ring? Ring King or King of the Ring or something like that? Ooh, fuck Tom Fun up, man. This was an arcade. This was an arcade. The old arm wrestling game. He has him. He won't play him. Look at Blue is basically you. You gotta fight yourself. Well, that was it, right? Or what did he just do? Stage 12, you just keep going through them. And they're supposed to get harder and something until you get beat? Anyway, way too funny. Perfect. Perfect. And that's, that was the game. That was the game. Best of the best. I do not remember this. I do remember that. Uh, uh. <clears throat> oh, yeah. These lights. These lights did something, right? Like, they start fading, and then uh, this is your stamina bar over here and over here. Like, you turn the lights out quick. See, they're too crowded up. Oh, oh, you got it. Oh, look, his lights dimming. Lights dimming. Mike Tyson's punch out is still one of the greatest things ever, ever. Is it not zero zero seven three seven three five nine six three or five eight six four something like that? Oh, what's he counting for? Oh, switch. Two lights down, two lights down. Oh, that's what it was, isn't it? Zero zero seven three seven three five nine six three was the code to Mike Tyson. I think something like that. Dear God. Oh. Ooh, he's got him down a little bit. Oh, perfect. Oh, oh, you gotta fight like Benny the Jet at the end. Streams what every day? Oh, just popping him with that backhand. Dude, you're getting close. It's getting close. Oos, oos. Leg sweep was open. Yeah. 
Look, 18 seconds left. 17 seconds. Short time. Oh, I killed him. Count it out. Oh, he gets up, of course. Of course he gets up. Spin one off. Spin one off. Oh, no shit. Mike Tyson's punch it as badass. Hell yeah. Seven. Eight. I streamed playing. I played Nintendo Switch on here a couple times. Yo. My Anaconda with the follow. Yo. Anaconda. Damn, this motherfucker's still just living. Dumb. Look at my man's getting lights back. He did. Three knockdown rule. Stupid. Stupid. A banner solar field boxing was sick. Buster Douglas. Oh my god. He's got one light. Kill him. He's been down 27 times. Boxing Legends of the Ring. Uh, let me see something. Let me, let me see something right quick. Give me a minute. Listen to the sound. That needs to be maddening. Oh my god, that would be horrible. That would be fucking horrible. That's so bad. Like, I'm tired of hearing it right now. <laughs> Yo, Ja. Ja. All right, man. Yeah, what time is it? Oh, shit, we passed 2 o'clock, man. It's Sunday. Yo. Kung Fu Master? Okay, did that what does that look like? Hold up, go back. Dirty ass game. Dirty ass game. You gotta turn this shit off. Dirty. Dirty. Ah damn it. What was the game? What's the goddamn game? Give me the game. Oh, Kung Fu Master. Let me see something. Give me you. Be like, oh, he be checking out Pornhub. No, just kidding. I don't. Oh. 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 <laughs> no sound. None. Oh, here we go. We got three grand for that one. Up the stairs you go. Look at Tank Abbott's beard, man. Damn, boy, look at him. Oos. Oh my God. Rygar, legendary warrior. Do y'all remember this game? Double Dragon? Oh my god, this is horrible. Moving things around, sorry. That was crazy. 
All right, though. All right, though. So, anyways, I don't even know how how all that start. Oh yeah, look. I don't even know where the pause take is. Now we still got this. Man, I still got this. You ever play? Do I play myself in UFC Undisputed? I had. I mean, I've looked at it. Look at this guy. Do you ever dance like this when no one's looking? Oh, look at him throw that kick down. Mother saw was a drunk man doing nothing, but what he was actually doing was using his chi to open doors to alternative realities. The fuck? The wind noise is also just the backdraft from the power exuberating from his knuckles as it glides through the air, creating immense amounts of torque. What I'm saying is everyone tough, but if you're ever on the floor lying down to the left of someone you're attacking and they kick you like that, you're done out here. You're done out here. <laughs> you're done out here. I'm done with you. No talking. That's it. You're done out here. My man, you got to be kidding me right now. Yo, for real, who stopped their granddad from taking their meds, all right? This is fucked up. You, you took his medication away from him, and you set up a camera. Oh, my God. Take back everything I said. That move was badass. See, that was as gangster as it gets. Elbow, elbow. Right. Elbow, elbow. Pulls, you get their fucking protein on. Oh, he's got it. Does he teach somebody? This is Gregory. Gregory came over to drop off the milk. Now he's helping this fucking moron practice his martial arts. Gregory's scared. There's even a gun on the mantelpiece. No wonder he's pretending he can't hit this. He's got a sword and a gun and a McDonald's. And a McDonald's sign. <laughs> he's got a fucking. He's got a McDonald's sign of the. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, with a takedown. Don't you take me down. He's like, I'm teaching you so many things right here. These are actually very Madness. strategies for those frequent occasions when people come up to you with thin twine, wrap it around your ankle and stand away and scream, come here, boy. Like uh, rogue cattle rustlers in, in the town center. Very frequent occurrence nowadays. It is he grabs the rope go, come here, boy. You got to do it in the bathroom. There you go, in a bathroom. Do you think somebody literally passed this to him? Passed this, like he's passing this on? He didn't even bother taking the towel off today. He was like, fuck it. I'm wiling out here in my gown. I'm going to make a cuppa. I'm going to lay down some justice in between. I've heard that Universal Cinema are in the works of making a movie about this man's life called Crouching Tiger Hidden Disability. <laughs> here we go again. This motherfucker, one more time. Good. Now I'm going to try and pull you. I want you to resist as much as possible. Do not uh, get down in good stance. Don't let me pull you. Resist. I would pay to be that fucking dude. I would pay to be this guy in the black shirt just once. Me is actually the word me. So if he resists, resist, and I say me, he's not able to resist me any longer. This but what if he turned his tongue to the left and lifted up his big toe? Then he's fucking bulletproof. Bulletproof. He actually forces him towards me. It's your years of overeating, my friend, that analyzed you. <laughs> Drag that skinny man towards you, not by saying me. By saying me wants to eat more cheeseburgers is what achieved this. Right? <laughs> oh my God, this guy again. That's how this whole thing started. This whole thing started with this shit yesterday. I'm going to break that concrete slab with that glass without breaking the glass. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. That's incredible. Wait, no, and to be honest, I actually felt these bricks. These are real bricks. I mean, there's, there's no, don't. Oh, 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 oh
Whoa! Check it out, baby. Guns. <laughs> I forgot they still laughed, dude. I can't. I know this is the repeat part. Okay, okay, okay. He just can't stop laughing. <laughs> My man goes to the head, the head buddy side of things. They die for hours. Squandered potential that is. So I'm going to show you one more clip Ooh. here of a fake martial arts <clears throat> I found online. But before I do, if you're not already, please consider subscribing to the channel. I make regular content, a lot of it about fake martial artists. I got to wait. Who is this guy? Who is this guy? We got it. We got to see this. We got it. Let me. We got to get this guy. Well, you all can give it to me. Here goes Bob Sepp. Well, just fake people in general. It's all pretty consistent and... I enjoy making it. So it's Big Bob Sap. If you haven't already and you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. He's a teddy bear. He is a teddy subscribe. bear. Just like the video. Also, if you've seen any fake martial artists you'd like me to make a video on, just leave them in the comments below and I'll check it out and I'll shout you out if I do make a video about them. Oh! The jingles were optional. They, they opted for the jingles, but you've got to appreciate the practical effect. <clears throat> Now, in general, it's probably not a good idea to trust a martial artist that looks like a mixture between Dr. Evil and King Jong Un, because that whole outfit he's wearing screams evil villain. <laughs> it does not scream trustworthy martial arts master. Come on, people, we got to stand around him. God damn, My Hero Academia is based off of this man's life. He didn't even bother wearing martial arts gear. I punch a right hand into his shirt. Oh my god, I'm gonna just shut up. Selling stock shares by night. Look at them all standing around. They don't feel stupid. Yeah, how do you not feel fucking dumb doing this? What the f Yeah, that shit's worth a round of applause, you <laughs> fucking imbeciles. Now, as a general rule of thumb, and it seems to be true across every video I've reviewed, the more spasticated the movements, the more fake the fight style. If you look at regular MMA, if you look at Krav Maga, uh, kickboxing, most of these will have just basic compound movements, you know? Oh, my God. Okay. They all literally have to sit there. There's no way they're not all sitting there thinking, one, why the fuck am I sitting here with no shirt on? Two, what the fuck is wrong with them? And three, I can't believe they're filming this shit. I would like to leave. I'd like to leave right now. Ooh, that was kind of sick, though. I'm not gonna lie. Half gangster. I want. I'm curious how to why he's sweating. I want to know why his why his skin is glistening. Ain't a motherfucker there training any kind of sweaty. Why is he all glistened up? That's actually pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty cool. He just smacked you four times in the face. Oh, that was nasty. That was nasty. I bet that man's able to pull his breeches down, take a big steaming shit on the floor, pick it up, smear it in the opponent's faces, and then all his students surrounding him will clap and give him a little pat on the back for being such a big, brave martial artist that carries a pen in his front pocket to training sessions. Oh, for sure. But look, I'm going to end the video there. It's been another fake martial arts masters destroyed uh, favorite video series of mine. So like I say, please be sure to like, subscribe, show your support and all that jazz. And I'll see you next time on the next Totally Pointless video. Bye bye. You know I gotta do it. I got, man, I gotta do it. I gotta do it, but I won't do it. <laughs>